Sumayya says, grooms wearing lots of flowers during nikah, during marriage, like coat, or they fully cover them with flowers, even though it's a culture of a particular place. Is it allowed? First of all, we have to know that there are many customs that are not mentioned in Islam. And this does not go against Islam. So our culture, our customs, as long as it is not a form of worshiping Allah, which means it's a bid'ah, an innovation, if it does not go against the instruction of Allah or the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, it is permissible. But when we look at what Sumayya has uh, explained, wearing these garlands, wearing these flowers, and this is usually done in India and Pakistan and, and, and the likes in the subcontinent. If this is an Islamic tradition, that even the imams of the masjid, the scholars of Islam, the judges, they do it, and they do not consider it to be something wrong, then this is okay. But if it is a practice of the Hindus, and this is done by the Hindus and picked up by the Muslims. So even they insist on the woman, the wife, to wear a necklace of black beads, for example, or an anklet or a ring in her toe and stating that she must not take them off until she dies because this is related to her marriage, a'udhu billah. This is totally prohibited. And this is imitating the disbelievers and in the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and whoever imitates a people, he will be among them. So over and over again, I keep on repeating this because of the importance for Muslims to believe and to implement this. We have our own identity. We must not let go of our identity as Muslims. An identity does not mean that wearing this red thing I'm wearing on my head. This is not part of my identity, it's part of my culture. So I can come tomorrow wearing a t-shirt or a polo shirt and a, je and a pair of jeans. There's no problem in that. Yet my identity is preserved. I wouldn't wear something that is only specifically limited to the disbelievers. Something that is worn by all Muslims, no problem in doing it. But when it comes to identity, we have to preserve it and Allah knows best.